Nine o'clock in the morning on the 9th of April. This is my second video of the day. It may be the first I publish. I'm waiting for independent advice on the first video as to whether it's too controversial, whether I've said something wrong before I publish it. I'm looking at elections. I'm looking at the coming American election in two years' time, the coming British election in two years' time, the ongoing alleged elections in Crimea, Ukraine, Russia, the upcoming Indian election, the recent Chinese elections, the recent Australian elections, and the elections that happen day in, day out around the world in the name of democracy. I'm an astrologer. I don't do politics. I'm a little bit of an anarchist. I'm certainly a green. Who are these people who, once they are elected, suddenly assume positions of power, start ripping off a taxpayer, buying second homes, gaining perks? Who are these people? The days of politics are over. We're in the middle of the biggest period of concentrated and compressed change, astrologically speaking, that has been for at least 2,000 years. And the fact that it's happening in cardinal signs suggests that the structures of the world are changing. Amongst these, I truly believe, are political structures. And what's happened is that humanity has basically outgrown the old structures. In the past, even 20 or 30 years ago, when there was only four, five billion people on planet, the idea of saying, vote for me and we'll do it this way, or no, don't vote for him, vote for us and we'll do it the other way. You have a clear choice one way or the other. It's the way it's always been. Recently, in the last 10, 20 years, globally, you've seen more and more third party or fourth party politics and thus coalitions starting all around the world, except, except the really big states. Um, sign of things to come potentially, but it's more of a reaction to the fact that there is no one way forward anymore politically. There is no one political dogma, whether it be left wing, right wing, centralist or environmentalist. It doesn't seem as if there's a particular unique way of going forward now. The idea now is that of integration, assimilation and holism of all political theories and dogmas combining into one, which is truly for the benefit of the people. Democracy, democraties. So, I suggest we do something radical. I suggest we get rid of all political parties. All of them. Across the board. We still have elections. We still have people whom we individually, the people, vote for. Probably via internet. To go to an elected place, for example, a parliament or Congress to represent the people's wishes. But these are not people who go there to carry out their party's wishes. They go there to carry out the people's wishes. In today's society, we have something which no other generation in human history has ever had. We have the internet. We have artificial intelligence. We have the ability to be able to instantly flash an item of news around the world and within seconds billions of people can have it. In this day and age where we now have seven billion people and growing, old political structures have become invalid and we now need elected representatives without political allegiance who genuinely can say, care for the concerns of the people. That's why I suggest that anyone who's futurely elected should be there to carry out the wishes of the people, but not to decide what's right or wrong. That should be put to referenda. And with the internet, we now have the ability to have referenda every day, if necessary. And of course, there will be people who will say, oh yes, but you can cook the internet, you can skew the vote, you can do this, you can do that. Yes, you can, but that's a really negative way. We're trying to dream in something positive here for the future. If everyone felt more involved in the decision making process, if everyone felt their vote actually counted, you would find a great deal more people becoming actively interested. Thus, the place would become a lot more vibrant. Everyone would care a lot more about it. There'd be a lot more passion. But whilst we have this current outdated system of people who, once they get into Parliament, start helping themselves, stealing money, lying, cheating, crook, being crooked and just be playing allegiance to whoever's in power at the time. 
This isn't politics. This isn't the wishes of the people. Time for a new electoral system. And this Grand Cross is symbolically bringing the end of old-fashioned politics as we've known it. And not a moment too soon.